Today we're going to start doing the Instant Pot recipes. Today I'm going to show you the best way to cook a whole turkey in the Instant Pot. And I'm going to show you what to do if the turkey is too large to fit inside the Instant Pot. To make a turkey in the Instant Pot, ideal size for a turkey would be about 10 pounds. So this one is about 15 pounds, a little bit too big. The Instant Pot is this size and the turkey is really huge. So here you see the uh, the thigh and the drumstick. So take that as a piece. So here we're going to take out the wing. So just find where the joint is and cut it. So we've got to find the joint right here. And cut along the joint there. So you have another wing like this. So the bones you can use for turkey congee. So I'm just going to cut off the uh, turkey here on the bone here. Okay, so that should do it. So here's another thigh here. So you can uh, take out the uh, turkey breast if you want to put one in there. So the breast is the, uh, the big part on the top there. So I'm only going to use one of the breasts here. Because I'm going to use the other breasts for just making a small order for turkey breasts. So you see this is a fairly big piece of meat here too, so we're going to put that in as well. I'm going to save the carcass to make turkey congee. Or you can also use the carcass to make soup stock. The secret to a moist turkey is to use the metal rack that comes with the Instant Pot. So this way, the turkey will be steamed and not boiled. So when you add the water, the turkey will be sitting above the water. The turkey, I put salt in it uh, yesterday when I washed the turkey. But I'm going to put a little more salt on the surface. Just rub it in on the meat. Put some salt on the inside. I'm going to put some uh, pepper. And next I'm just going to put some uh, Italian seasoning. So I'm just going to sprinkle some on top and then just spread it around. Spread it around everywhere. So I'm also going to put some uh, soy sauce in it, uh, just to color the chicken a little bit. Uh, chicken usually uh, is pretty pale looking when you use the uh, Instant Pot. So I'm going to rub some soy sauce. So the... Um, so I have the two uh, drumsticks with the thigh facing each other with the drumsticks here. And then just put the breast meat on top. So that's pretty full. So just put three cups of water. So the lemongrass, you just cut off the top uh, half and cut off the bottom. So I'm gonna put some lemongrass on the bottom so it'll make a nice uh, rich broth for turkey soup. So I'm just gonna put it in the middle there, on the bottom there. It's a three quarters of a turkey, so put it in there. So now we're gonna uh, okay, press the button, and then we're gonna find uh, pressure cook. So press pressure cook. So it's roughly, I would say, maybe ten pounds in there. Here we go. So, 50 minutes, 10 pounds, 5 minutes a pound as you cook chicken. So we're going to keep it at 5 minutes per pound. Press it so it's on high heat. There's no uh, delay and the warm button is on. So next step, I'm just going to put the lid on there. 
release buttons on the back there. So you close left for the close, turn left. And then uh, this uh, this uh, insert pot locks in automatically. Some of the other ones uh, lock in differently. And it's going to take maybe 10-15 minutes to pressurize. It's going to cook for 50 minutes. And then it's going to uh, um, naturally release pressure for another 10-15 minutes. If you can't decide whether you like the turkey cooked in the Instapot or more in the traditional oven, I would suggest serve the turkey both ways. So just check the description below in my Chinese cooking accessory guide. You'll find different ingredients and items I use in Chinese cooking as well as uh, the wok that I use and this Instapot that I use. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, subscribe and comment. And thanks for your continued support.